Hey YouTubers, this is Kuro Eno. Um, I just read One Piece manga chapter 752, and uh, let's be honest, like it stopped off with like Doflamingo trapping Luffy and Law, and Usi the Bull in the water, and I really, I had a slight guess that wasn't really Doflamingo, because I mean, come on, it, it's like. Would he really just go to a spot? Would he really go to a place? Would he really go down to the, like the second level where there's like all those gladiators down there, like wanting to kill him, like and just just to surprise Luffy and Law? Okay, maybe he would. There's a slight chance he would, but would he really just send himself? And a small chance he would send himself, but the the majority of it was he sent his clone. I mean, he shot Usi. And he was talking about how Law was exactly like him when they first met. And I'm just like, Law, bloodthirsty. Law is like you. And, uh, and then, then you have to kind of think back. You have to really think back to like um, our, to like um, the part where all the 11 supernovas were like in the same island together. And Eustace said they had heard bad things about Law. And then, you know, Law just flipped them off. And then, when you think back about that, Law doesn't act like it now. He doesn't act like a he doesn't act like a bloodthirsty guy now. But judging from what he used to said in his past, he was pretty darn bad. He was pretty damn bad, just evil. Apparently, from what Eustace was saying, he heard pretty bad things. And this is coming from Eustace, and Eustace literally just kills almost about anybody. So if Eustace calls someone bad. There's some you have to really look at that. And then Doflamingo's like, oh, just because my brother saved you. And then he was like, um, you don't want to die a useless death like him or something along those, along those lines. And I'm just like, I was hoping. I was really like hoping or praying that they would show like a panel or, or do a flashback of, of Corazon, Doflamingo's brother. I just, I was hoping for it. But my hopes were pop. My, my, like, my whole hopes were just went up in air. He didn't even, they didn't even show a flashback of Corazon. But um, Doflamingo, like Luffy tried to hit him. Doflamingo dodged it. Our clone Doflamingo dodged, used um, that bullet termite string, hits Usi. Then they both, then Luffy's getting, it fell on Luffy. They're in the water. Luffy's getting weaker. Law's getting weaker. And Doflamingo would have finished them off with the clone. I, I mean, do we know how, you guys don't even know how close that was all his clone had to do was just slash them pretty much just just slash both all, all three of them luffy Tra law the bull it would have been over and then he would have and then he could have handled everything else that that happened afterwards he could have handled almost everything technically i don't think so sabo yeah he could have probably handled because if because Fujitor versus Sabo, they're still like evenly matched right now. As far as I'm seeing, they're evenly matched. All right. They're holding you, they're managing to hold out against each other. Now, if Doflamingo killed Luffy, Law, and the Bull, and then just made all the gladiators kill each other, and, uh, and then made his way to Fujitor and Sabo, then the ties would change. Then Sabo would probably lose. Because, I mean, come on, if you have to fight both of them at the same time, that's going to be a predicament there. And we all know that Doflamingo is proficient in hockey. I mean, I mean, come on, let's consider his feats here. He's cut off Crocodile's head, and Crocodile wasn't even noticing. He sliced off um, Ors Jr.'s leg clean off. He's capable of controlling people. Um, this is not to say he wouldn't be able to slash Sabo, or he wouldn't be able to use hockey to hit Sabo some way. Not saying Sabo... Is not not saying Sabo's gonna let himself get hit, but we do know Doflamingo has the capability to hit a low gear user, hit one. But um, and you just see all these um gladiators duking out. Then Abdullah, I forgot the other Abdullah and Jeet. I think I got their names right. Not sure if I'm didn't then forgive me. Both of them came in at the nick of time. Slash Doflamingo or slash the clone Doflamingo slashes top half clean off and just turns in a whole bunch of strengths. His lower half is still there, but 
just turns into strings and they help Luffy and all of them out. Turns out um, Bobby Funk and them were already beat up. Or I don't know if they knew. I'm not like I'm. I got confused at that part. I'm not sure if they knew and they led them into a trap, or it was too late to notice that it was a trap. Because Abdullah and Jeep found out, but then it was too late because it closed behind them. But Luffy just simply does, just does a huge hockey gear third fist through the surface and breaks up, and he's heading toward him and all. Most of the other gladiators are all heading towards third floor. Then you have um, Rebecca, Rebecca, Usab, and some others, and like the dwarves, and they have these little beetles. And Nami is just saying it's impossible. This is wasting a lot of time. They're saying just trust us, just trust us. You won't fly, but just trust us. And so then they jump off the roof, and then it turns out these beetles are actually able to carry their weight. But it's like balloons, helium balloons. They have to jump off the roof to get higher, but it glides them down. And so we're seeing them make their way there. But um, and then around the end, you see Doflamingo on the on his throne, and he's surrounded by his crew members, I think. And he was talking about how how he was disappointed. Like at first, he was excited that Law was just like him when they first met, and, and how he was how he wanted him to be like his his like um right hand man, first mate, or whatever. And then how he was disappointed he has, that he's gonna have to kill him, that he's gonna have to end it here. And then you see a flashback of Law. Um, apparently, young younger Doflamingo, his hair was like long, like not long, long, but spiky. Uh, it was a lot longer than he has now, a lot longer than when he took over than when he took over Dress Rosa ten years ago. Um, and then you just see Law entering this room, and they're talking about he's gotten through. He's like, "What does a little brat like you want?" or something like that. And Law was just like, "I want to, I want to destroy everything, I wanna destroy everyone, every, I want to destroy everybody, every place, whatever." He's like, and he was strapped with bombs, grenades, explosives. This dude was prepared to just simply take out Doflamingo and everyone else in that room. And I don't know, I gotta admit, he does, he had this serious look on his face as a kid. I really don't know what happened to him as a kid, but that was, that was pretty badass. He, he went in there like a terrorist, a terrorist, and just straight up walked up Doflamingo. I don't think I could have had the courage to do that. I don't think I could have. Then again... I don't think Law had anything else to lose. He didn't. And and like um it makes you really think like it makes you wonder what type of man Cora was, because I mean Cora's own was. Cause I mean, you have Doflamingo, this ruthless, bloodlusted, evil dictator of a man. Then you had Law as a kid who was just simply bloodlusted, nothing else to lose, want to murder everyone. They team up together. But then Law was pulled over to the good side by Corazon. Now, either Corazon is a very nice man, I don't know. But that's Doflamingo's brother, so the apple doesn't the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I mean, I we don't even know Doflamingo's family, so that's like a mystery there. We don't know how his family is. We, we know he killed his mom, and I mean, we know his mom died and killed his own father, so we don't know how his father was. Maybe his father was a nice guy. Maybe him and Corazon were both nice. But then that still doesn't explain why is Corazon working. Why was Corazon still friends with? Still, you know, teaming up with Doflamingo in the past. Unless he was scared of Doflamingo. You know, when you're intimidated by someone, you work for them regardless. Or unless Corazon was waiting for his time to take down his older brother. We don't know. But that's my theory. That's my theory. But this whole episode has just been just... I just want to see more flashbacks. I want to see more flashbacks. That's what I want in this next chapter. I, I'm making demands here. I want to see flashback of Corazon. How Law became good. More of the fight scene between Sabo and Fujitora. And I want to know what's going on with Sanji and them. I want to know what's going on between Sanji and Big Mom's crew. And I want to see a reaction from the Marines. From the headquarters of the Marines. I want to see what is Akinu's reaction to what Doflamingo is doing. Because Akino is one of my favorite characters too. Yeah, he's an a-hole. Yeah, he, he killed Ace. Yeah, whatever. Flame me with all your hate. Flame me with all your hate for, for loving Akainu or Sakazuki, but I love him. I just love his magma ability. I love the fact that he's so badass. I mean, come on. 
most of the scenes he was in, he just regenerated like like a Terminator. This dude is a beast. Not not much could stop him. Except for Angry White Bear, which quaked the shit out of him. But still, I still love Akina. I want to see what his reaction is to Doflamingo literally flipping his shit. Turning on the Marines. Turning on everyone. I want to see what his reaction is. Just, like, is he going to get pissed off? Is, is he going to send more reenact, like, more people? Is a buster call going to be called? Maybe not. I don't know. Um, Kudo, you know, like, comment, rate, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Just no bad comments, whatever. You know. According to you now.